Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and I'm talking today about working on old things and how to know whether, when it's time to work to change or get rid of an old thing. And uh, this is hard for me because this is a painting, it's not a horrible thing. And every time I pull it out, you know, it's like I did it so long ago and there's all this nostalgia and everything. But the test that I use is if it gives me energy, um, I keep it. And now if it kind of doesn't and it just feels, it's sort of like, you know, pushing a skateboard with a broken wheel on it, um, I paint it over. And I'm, I've gotten more and more um, sort of proactive around changing the things, changing it. I think it's actually really cathartic to take old work, um, especially pretty good old work, and and change it. So uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm working on this one. I did. I don't know how many years ago I did this. Many years ago, but it's oil paint. It's on panel. But there's all this great underpainting under here, which I kind of love. And so what I do is I look at this and say, well, what parts of this are interesting to me? And it's completely subjective, right? But, you know, like the parts that I like, like I really like this part. I like those colors. I actually really like that part a lot. You know, I do like this up here a little bit. Sort of some of these things the writing, but that's, that's about it, <laughs> you know. Um, so what I do is I will, I will paint on this, but I'll do so in a way that's gonna really, really change it. And so I mixed up a color um, that's just really bold and really bright, and it's gonna force me to see it in a different way. And um, so I'm just gonna paint on that and kind of cover this thing up. So thanks. Um, so I keep the parts that I like, you know, and this shouldn't take very long. This is just my first initial stab at it, you know. It's not that you cover too much up, it's that you don't cover enough up. So I just, you know, I know that, I mean, I'll probably end up covering so much of this painting. And I have got, it's a pretty muted color. You know, this painting's got a lot of muted colors on it. Um, and so I'm going with a really saturated color to start. You know, so I think about that, the different, you know, just right away, I wanna do something that's got a lot of uh, boldness to it. Um, And I'll keep some things, you know, like I do like, I do like this little part down here. Um, uh, I like this white thing better. And sometimes, and I'll just, if I think I might want to keep a color, you know, I'll have thin areas and thick areas. So I'm taking advantage of what's underneath there. You know, like why get rid of all of that, this? If I cover it perfectly, I won't be taking advantage of what was here before. Um, And I want to do a different composition, you know, so I'm, I'm being pretty aggressive with taking stuff out. So it's pretty thin.
And I don't have any plan at all here. But I do like these, I do like this gray, this, I'm leaving some of this gray here. It's just beautiful. Like sometimes I'll find a part of the picture that, like I love those colors and that might, you know, influence a lot of what I'm gonna end up doing here. It's just kind of like exploring compositions, getting things going. It's not really working at all, but it's a new painting, which I like. all this texture underneath here. And I'm taking advantage of that. As long as I have something that is really different than what I had 10 minutes ago or five minutes ago, then now I'm seeing this in a new way. And, um, you know, it's exciting to kind of look at. And right away, I'm looking at these two things and wanting to make these two different up here a little more. Um, a little smaller, perhaps. So, it's so different now and it's actually exciting and it's not working, but I mean, there's no way I'm going back. I'm not being, everything's been painted. I've painted everywhere on this. Nothing's precious. Now it's a new painting in flux and I'm, the old things there, I'm getting advanced, taking advantage of some of it. Um, one thing I can do also is um, before it dries, I can come in and, in some of these areas. The main thing is that it's new and it's different and I'm not at all concerned about this old painting, trying to save it or be too precious with it. Um, so anyway, this is something you might wanna try with your own work, uh, old work, and just get it going and just change it and out with the old and in, in with the new. All right, thanks a lot. Let me know in the comments uh, if this is something you do a lot of. I, I used to save everything all the time and now I'm down to like, I have six paintings left and they're all they're all ready to be changed. And it's kind of great because you got the panels, you got the great underpainting. And it's like, what are we saving these old paintings for? Like, what, why, you know? All right, thanks a lot. Okay.